Hello, everybody. I'm Dan Williams, and on behalf of George Langevin Productions, I'd like to welcome you to the soccer fields here in Riverside, California. We've got some great soccer action in store for you right now. It's the National Cup Championship. This is a division of girls under 14, and it's the LV Blazers versus the Claremont Stars. And we're about ready to get underway. We have got a tremendous wind blowing right at us as we speak and begin underway. And as you can see, the action starts heavy as we begin this competition. The wind is picking up and has been remained constant throughout this morning effort and of course it looks like it's going to continue all this afternoon and really be able to give both teams the Blazers and the Stars some tremendous problems in keeping control of the ball uh, also as those shots are going on goal they're going to be having some curves and slices with that wind and now the ball crosses we'll get you the rosters in just a moment as we get underway here LV Blazers, they're going to be in the white jerseys with black shorts. The Claremont Stars, as you see them, are in the green jerseys with black shorts. And now the Stars now taking the ball down and being cleared out nicely as the ball crosses midfield. And that's number 17, Jennifer Graham, who tries to take control. Number 7 now. Nice shot by number 7, Misty Precardio. Close-up action right in front of us as you see both Melissa Cleal and now you're seeing number 10, that's Brittany Kirk. The Stars now trying to take control of the ball. That's number 17, Jennifer Graham making a nice pass. That's number 6, Naomi Chu with the ball. And as it comes down into the near corner and goes out of bounds. You're in my shot, sir. Green shirt. Hey, Dave. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Tried moving. Ball now comes into play. Nice clear there by the Stars. And now the ball is shot down deep. Intercepted there by number two, Whitney Horn. And now she brings it back as a pass comes through. Claremont Stars now in control of the ball. Crossing midfield. Picked up by Christina Van Krog. And you see some action, foot action, going back and forth. Ball clears out. Going after it is for the Blazers. That's number 18. Lauren Loftus. Once again, the wind picking up and keeping a strong, strong, uh, stiff breeze. And we're going to call it a wind. That's number three, Janet Light for the Stars with the ball as she comes down to where the ball actually went out of play. She'll be throwing it in and of course the wind is going with her so she'll get a strong throw deep down in there. There's some action right by the goal. It comes up and a shot on. Saved nicely by the Blazers and now the ball comes out. Number six, that was Kelly with the shot, bouncing off Jennifer Graham, and it remains the Stars ball. That's number seven, Misty uh, Presadio. Ball cleared out now. There's a nice drive on the way. That's number five, Emily Kraft, bringing the ball down. Chasing after at number 13, Cindy Steffens. She has control and brings it back out to Misty, to Misty Preciado. Quick action as we start this first half of play. Each half here is 35 minutes in length. That's regulation play for this age group. We are under girls under 14, and this is a National Cup championship. Blazers themselves coming into this play, the State Cup Open Champs from last year. Claremont Stars coming off to a great semifinal match, beating the Mission Viejo Flash four to nothing. And we got some action right close to the goal. Cleared out nicely. And now that's some fighting going on for the ball. There's a push and a foul. And it will be the Blazers ball. Jenna Wirtz now picking up the ball. 
It'll be number 13, Melissa Cleal, with the kick, pointing, telling her teammates where she wants them to be. Ball's put into play nicely. It's a strong shot. It goes in and scores! A long shot all the way. Melissa Cleal took the ball, made a kick, and the ball carried almost the entire half of the length and just squeezed through Megan McNeck's hands. And that is now one to nothing Blazers. The ball was untouched on that score, and it was once again Melissa Cleo with a strong kick all the way into the air, went right through the hands, and now we're looking at a LV Blazers lead of one to nothing early in the first half. What thought to be was just a normal kick in turns out to be a score, and I think it took everybody by surprise. And now the ball is given to the Stars, and it's thrown in by number three, Janet Light, and it's now their turn. Nice header by the Blazers. That's number one, Veronica Zapeta with the ball. She's now trying to do something with it. A lot of foot action, a lot of close-up action. There's a shot on goal! Saved nicely by Amanda Olson, and now cleared out. Ball Brat. Ball being brought back down again into that area of concern. Nice fighting. That was number 19, Danielle De La Corna. Danielle did a good job of keeping the other star player at bay. And of course, now we're looking at number three. That's Janet Light with the ball as the wind kicks up again. The wind just obviously took that ball and just sliced it out of bounds, and that will be a goal kick for the Blazers at this time. That's going to be happening all day today. As you can see, the dust is picking up. Not the best type of atmosphere for playing soccer, but this is a National Cup championship, and they're going to play in whatever weather there is. And of course, you can see them all determined. Ball once again to Claremont Stars as the throw comes in on the far sideline. That's number six, Naomi Chu, doing some great footwork, keeping control of that ball. And now the ball squirts loose down on the far sideline, bounces out off of a star player, and that will be the Blazers' ball as they bring it back into play. Both of these teams coming off a semifinal victory. LV Blazers coming off a three to one shot. Here comes the ball coming up. There's a shot on goal. Just bounces off. Bounces off. A sp There's a shot on and it goes up and over. That was a sliding shot by Misty Preciado. Misty, number seven of the Stars, had his shot on goal and went up and high. Some hot action once again in this part of the game. Goal kick for the Blazers, and the ball is sent down. Carries nicely, trapped by one of the stars. Ricochets off, and now we got some nice footwork. That was number 11, Jenna Wirtz with an attempted shot, and now it's taken back over by the stars as we move on. That's number four, Danielle Hess, trying to bring the ball down the far sideline. Intercepted by number four, Becky Miller, and now comes back the other way. Cleared out nicely. The ball carries deep, deep, deep. And here comes up number 17, Jennifer Graham. Number 13, Cindy Steffens, trying to defend. The ball carries through. And they'll be giving the ball to the Stars. Number 13, Melissa Cleal now with the ball. She scored that first goal. And now the ball's coming up again. Footwork from both teams, as you can see. Now here's an opportunity for the Stars as they try and bring it across. That's number nine, Valerie Podesta with the ball as she brings it down out to the outside. Number four, Danielle Hess on the far outside, passing it down nicely. Finding themselves in a corner. Ball stays free for just a moment. And now here's an opportunity for the Blazers with the ball. Nice shot across goal. And the ball bounces. And look at the wind carry that ball all the way out. 
just a small tap of the ball is going to send it reeling and rolling. And now it goes back to the Stars ball. There's a throw in. Some nice action right in front of us here, as you can see. There's number 17, Jennifer Graham, trying to take control for the Blazers, and she's doing a very nice job. Look at the footwork there. Nice pass to number 11, Jenna Wirtz. Now she's going to do some nice work, and that's a nice uh, deflection by number one, Veronica Zepeda. But it comes right back again. That's number six, Naomi Chu. Once again, some great footwork. That's picked up nicely by number 13, Melissa Cleal. Comes back, intercepted now by the Stars, but once again, Veronica Cepeda with some great footwork herself. Ball cleared across, now bringing down by number 15, Jessica Reyes. Out to the far sideline with number four, Danielle Hess. She's out there in her position, trying to bring it down. Good job, Heidi. Stars bringing it back into play. That's number 15, Jessica Reeves with the ball. Now they're going to try and put some pressure on the Blazers field, but it's once again intercepted nicely and defended. Stars with the ball. That's number 10, Heidi Snyder out there. Stars trying to put something together. Ball carries down close to the goal. That's number three, Janet Light. Now the ball is cleared out nicely. Number two, Whitney Horn trying to gain control of the ball. Nice pressure being put on by Emily Kraft. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be the Blazers ball. Be a throw in by number 10, Heidi Snyder. Heidi looking for someone. Throws it up and high, headed off by one of the stars. And the ball moving down the sideline. Once again, the Stars now looking for control and opportunity. Deflected nicely. That's number 18, Lauren Loftus. She tries and keeps control of the ball and keeps those Stars away from their goal. And that's where we've got it. So we're talking about the Blazers and the Stars here, National Cup Championship. The winner of this uh, championship qualifies for the regional finals in Montana later this year. Now the Blazers coming off their semifinal win against the Hot Spurs, three to one, and the same thing happening in the semifinal match with the Stars beating the Mission Viejo Flash, four to nothing. Ball comes back into play, going for it, stays inbounds temporarily. Good Danielle. Good job by the Blazers in keeping that ball away from their goal. Claremont Stars will be having an opportunity with a throw-in. It's going to be tough with the wind blowing right at them, and you'll see it'll be a tough throw. That ball just dies immediately. There's a setup. Nice opportunity for number six, Naomi Chu, to intercept and break up what was an attempted play. Now it's a nice pass by the Blazers as they're bringing it down. That's number 10, Heidi Snyder, who brings the ball way downfield. Number 17, Jennifer Graham now doing a good job. Goes out of bounds and it stays the Blazers ball. A quick throw in and that was a quick header by the Stars but coming right back are the Blazers and pressure is the key for both teams. That's what they're trying to do is to keep pressure on those and look at the action right here. Nice job by number 11 Jenna Wirtz did not give up and made that play happen. Good pressure by both teams. Blazers doing a good job. Close action right here, and the wind carries that ball out of play, and they'll be giving that to the Stars, and that's number seven, Misty Preciado. Misty looking for somebody to throw to. Throws it into the nearby sideline. Trap, and a nice turn move by number 10, Brittany Kirk, as she tries to bring it down, and that's a tackle right there. Danielle Della Corna did what she thought she had to do, which was to bring the player down. And they'll be giving the ball to the Stars. And that'll be number three, Janet Light, as she comes into play. Number 10 now with the ball, Brittany Kirk, trying to bring the ball in front. There's an opportunity. Just dies there. 
Ball dies, and now the ball's kicked away. You can hear the coaches on uh, this sideline. We're listening to the Blazers coach trying to get some good encouragement and coaching from the sidelines. There was a quick kick, and it covers. Stuff it down the middle. Star is trying to set up an offensive play, but we've got some great pressure by number 17, Jennifer Graham. Some pressure right there as well. Nice pickup, and now it's being brought down the middle of the field, intercepted by the Stars and brought back down. There's number 10 of the Stars, Brittany Kerr, now passing the ball down. That's number two, Whitney Horn, on the far outside as they're bringing the ball. Veronica Zepeda picks up the ball temporarily. Now moving out there. Ball bring back down the far sideline, and it's kicked out of bounds. That's Lauren Loftus kicking the ball out of bounds, just simply temporarily to stop the uh, aggressive play of the Stars. LV Blazers, girls under 14, is who we're watching along with the Claremont Stars. Claremont Stars in green with black shorts. Blazers, white shirt with black shorts. Stars now lining up for an offensive attack. They'll be bringing the ball in from the corner. <laughs> They'll call it a corner kick. And they're going to be looking for it. Now, the, the wind is going to carry this ball very easily. The, the wind is actually going to be with this ball, and we'll see what happens. Carries in nicely. There's a header trying to trying to uh, keep the ball. And now the nice ball, as you can see, it goes right past this. Good job by the Blazers in clearing out what was potentially going to be a real tough play inside the goal area. Ball remains Claremont's. Good strong throw by number six Kelly O'Shea. Ball goes back out and now it's going to be the Blazers ball and there's a quick throw in. A nice header, a double header that you see and the ball is just going back and forth, back and forth. And with this age level, girls under 14, you see a lot more aggressive play. The ball's going back and forth very quickly as both teams are looking to try and gain control of the ball. Good close-up action right here in front of us. You can see a nice trap, and it brings down the field. Number 17, that was Jennifer Graham trying to keep that ball in play. And so the ball will stay with the Blazers. That's 19, Danielle De La Corna, as the ball comes in. We'll get the rosters for you as we get into play here. Now the ball's cleared out. Just a miss by the uh, Lauren Loftus. Now the ball clears the center field and they're moving down third. That's number four, Danielle Hess on the outside. Picked up by number nine, Valerie Podesta as they try and bring it down. Number 18, slide tackle, knocks it out of bounds. That's Lauren Loftus doing her job again to keep the ball from uh, coming in too close. Of course, the Stars were trying to set up an offensive attack at that time, and it was Lauren Loftus with a slide kick tackle, and uh, the ball sending it out of bounds to stop any type of threat right there. We're down in the Claremont Stars part of the field. Uh, we're going to be attacking here, and let's take a look at some of the rostered players. Uh, number one is Veronica Zepeda. Number two is Whitney Horn. Number three is Janet Light as the ball comes into play. We got some action now right here. The ball squirts out away. And now the and the ball goes out of bounds by number six Kelly O'Shea. So we have number four Danielle Heiss. Number five is Dina Miller. And we're talking about the Claremont Stars right now. They're wearing the green jerseys. Number seven is Misty Preciado. Number nine is Valerie Podesta as the ball is brought into play. Nice action right in front of us. That was number 17, Jennifer Graham, and number six, Kelly O'Shea, once again. Ball goes right back out again, so we'll finish the roster for the Claremont Stars. We picked up a uh, left off with Valerie Podesta, number nine. Number 10 is Brittany Kirk. Wearing jersey number 11 is Jermaine Philippe. Number 12 is Jamie Farnworth. Number 13, Cindy Steffens. Number 14, Sarah Escabel. Number 15, Jessica Reyes, as the ball goes out of bounds once again. 
And the goalkeeper for today's game for the Claremont Stars is Megan McNatt. Double header. We'll go for three. We do. And the Blazers doing a nice job trying to bring the ball down. That's Veronica Zapetta now with the ball. Number three now, Janet Light, bringing the ball across midfield, bringing it down the far sideline and picked up by number four, Danielle Hess on her far sideline. Number 11, Jenna Wirtz now, bringing the ball out a little bit, picked up once again by the Stars. Nice footwork by the Stars as they try and move down. Uh, they've only been able to get so far. Now the ball comes in closer. That's with Veronica Cepeda trying to put something in. But the Blazers do that great job of keeping the ball out of attack position. And the ball goes out of bounds with Whitney Horn, now number two, throwing the ball in. She'll have another strong throw since the wind will be behind her and it comes in. Go, wake up! Heidi. Pressure, Heidi! Okay, the Stars now trying to set something up. Ball once again cleared out and now picked up by number 17. That's Jennifer Graham. Now the ball's being driven down there by number 13, Melissa Cleal. Nice footwork by Melissa as she comes down. Picked up though now by one of the stars and it goes down the sideline, goes just out of bounds. They're going to be. Timeout's going to be called. They're going to have a substitute player coming in. Heidi on the left. Heidi, left. Substitute players. As you can see, taking some water breaks. Coming in for substitute player is number 12, Michaela Skelly. Get the ball turning. They have no pressure, okay? You just have to learn to do it. We're not supposed to win, I guess. We're supposed to win yesterday. Michaela Skelly now in the game. Number 12 getting some fresh legs and arrest to one of the other Blazers players. Ball now being thrown in by number two, Whitney Horn. And we pick up the play. Stars once again trying to set up uh, some type of offensive attack, but the pressure is being put on by the Blazers very nicely. Naomi Chu trying to put the ball downfield and now some heavy duty action and the ball's cleared out, headed back nicely by one of the stars. Good. Naomi Chu, number six, doing a very, very good job of putting pressure on the stars players. And that's keeping the attack, the offensive attack of the stars at bay at this point in time. Ball goes up and over. Becky, good stuff. LV Blazers out of Thousand Oaks Westlake area. They are the last year's State Cup Open champs, and they are here and mean to play. It's currently one to nothing. LV Blazers on a long goal by Melissa Cleal, number 13, early in the first part of the half. Goal kick now for the Blazers. Ball carries to the far sideline, and that's number 12, Jamie Farnworth. Quick, quick, Allie, quick! Looking for a quick throw. Number 12, Nicholas Skelly, who throws the ball in now. And there's a nice effort by both the Stars and the Blazers. Far side! Come on, and you can hear the fans in the background as they're, they're trying to motivate their team now. We're close. The Blazers now in the attack position. They'll be having a corner kick as they bring the ball into play. That's number 11, Jenna Wirtz. The ball comes in. Cleared out into the middle part of the zone. Nice kick by Danielle. And now the ball's coming up, and it's going to be picked up by Megan McNatt. 
And Megan's now going to send the ball down as deep as she can. And there's a good strong kick considering the wind that we've got here. Temporary crosses the line. And that's number one, Veronica Cepeda, who's really doing a nice job in trying to keep the ball. Nice pass over to number four, Danielle Hess. And the coaches are telling their players, pressure, pressure. That goes both ways at this time. And you can see that they're all doing a great job. Nice pickup by Brittany Kirk, number 10. Ball back out to Jamie Farnworth. It was an attempt there by Mikola Skelly. She knocks the ball out. It'll be the Stars' ball. Stars, they're from Claremont, California. They had a season record of 27-1-1. Fantastic season for them. And the ball now comes in to play. And now it's pressure by both teams trying to get control of the ball. Ball now down the side line, number 14, Allie Trowbridge. Nice trap, and now the ball sent down. That's number eight, Christina Von Krogh. The ball kicked back. It's now getting close. Shot on goal, kicked out of there nicely. Good job by the Blazers at that time. Ball was coming on line and looking for a star to put it in. But it was a blazer who did a strong leg kick and kicked it right back out there. It'll be a corner kick for the Stars. Blazers uh, playing out of the El Camino Real League up in their area. They are the League Cup champs from that division. So they know that the Stars have some tough competition in today's uh, National Cup Final Championship. Ball now goes out of bounds. They'll be giving the ball to the Stars as we continue in first half action here. We can see the ball. Headed up nicely in the air, looking for it. That's number six, Kelly O'Shea. Now we get some real close action right in front of us. There it is, a nice pass. Number 17, Jennifer Graham from Allie Tobro. And now the ball clears. And that's Allie now with an opportunity. Nice footwork as she keeps the ball in play and under control for herself. Down in the far corner. And, but it's the Stars who's doing a good job of keeping pressure. And it's back and forth. That's number nine, Valerie Podesta, keeping the pressure on. And now it gives the rest of the team a chance to come up there. But here's a quick shot on goal. Oh, off the top. Just barely missed it. Actually grazed the top bar. Ended up bouncing off the far right pole. And that's a close call for the Stars as it was almost another goal on behalf of the Blazers. That puts the Blazers in a real motivated situation as they're ready to try and come back again. But it's the Stars' turn to try and bring the ball deep. That's number 10, Brittany Kirk, with an opportunity. Very nicely, Christina Van Krogh with great pressure, staying with her all the way, keeping that ball out of play. About six minutes left in the first half. And now the ball is given to the Blazers. Offensive attack trying to be set up by the Stars. But the pressure by the Blazers is doing a good job of keeping it free. Picked up nicely by a star. That's number three, Janet Light. And now on the far outside, once again, the star is trying to bring the ball down. That'll go out of bounds, and they'll call it a corner kick for the Stars. So the LV Blazers almost coming up with another shot. It's still one to nothing, about five minutes left in the first half. The LV Blazers defending the goal on the right of your screen, and the Stars will have an opportunity. As we get through this corner kick, we'll give you the roster for LV Blazers before we get through this first half of play. Corner kick now being brought in. They keep it on the ground. Pressure the ball! Now there's an opportunity. The ball goes up. Save nice save. Had it, wasn't sure what was going to happen with this tremendous wind out here. But Amanda Olson did a good job of keeping the ball from going past that one line. And look at the aggressiveness right there. Good job. Excellent by number 17, Jennifer Graham. She is just doing a good job. They're going to call that against Jennifer. 
very good aggressiveness by both teams. And right there, some good close-up action by Jennifer Graham. They'll give a penalty kick now for the Stars. So the State Cup Open champs are leading one to nothing. That's the Blazers. And we'll give a chance here to give you a roster count for them as the Stars now bring down the ball into the, uh, the Blazers part of the field. Uh, the white shirts and black shorts, that is the LV Blazers out of the Thousand Oaks Westlake area. There's a shot on goal. It scores. There was a tremendous lifting shot. The wind helped bring that ball right up there. All of a sudden, the ball was there right in front of the net, and the shot was taken, and it was a score. And now we've got a one-to-one -one game, and that looks like looks like it was a combination of Valerie Podesta, number nine, with Veronica Cepeda, number one, right there. And it was just too much feet for Amanda Olson. And so now it's one-to-one, -one, and just that quickly, right before we get into the end of the first half, We've got the Blazers one and the Stars one. We had a lot of foot action right in front of the goal at that time. It was number one, Veronica Cepeda, along with Valerie Podesta right there. And that caused a pile up and a quick shot on goal. And like I said, it's one to one that quick. This will be a kick into the wind, which means it's going to have a slight curve to it. And earlier today, we were watching them. As you can see, the ball curves in. And that's what they've been practicing earlier today. When you're kicking into the wind, uh, if you've got the, the hook, it's going to hook into the net or slice away, depending on what part of the field that you're in and how you're trying to kick that ball. That one had the hook into the net. It was just short. Ball now brought back down deep. We're going to take an opportunity as the ball goes out to start the roster count for the Blazers. They are in the white jerseys with the black shorts. Wearing jersey number one is Aaron, Aaron Rice. As the ball comes into play now, that's number 19, Danielle De La Corna. The ball now crosses over, picked up and intercepted by the Blazer, and it's going to be brought back down. Number three is Alexis Varian. Number four is Becky Miller with number five, Emily Kraft. Now it's picked up by a star player. That's number 14, Allie Trowbridge now trying to do some work, and the ball is now brought over to a star. You've heard that number six, Naomi Chu, that's the number she wears. Number eight is Christina Von Krog. And we got some action on the far sideline as the ball is now being brought down by one of the stars. Good pressure by number 12. Michael Eskelly. The ball goes deep down into the far corner. That'll result in a goal kick. So we'll continue on with the Blazers. Uh, number 10, Heidi Snyder. Wearing number 11 is Jana Wirtz. Uh, along with number 12, we've talked with her, uh, Michaela Skelly. Number 13, Melissa Cleal. She was the person to put the ball in the net for the score of number one for the Blazers. Number 14, Allie Trowbridge. Uh, the goalkeeper for today for the Blazers is Amanda Olson. Number 17, Jennifer Graham, and now the kick is underway. Lofted highly into the air. The Stars pick up their normal positions along the far sideline trying to put something together. Good footwork, the ball goes out of bounds. They'll keep it the Blazers, or ball, check that. That'll be the Stars. Number 18, Lauren Loftus. You see her with just heading it right there. Number 19, Danielle Della Corna. And uh, Rachel Victorine, who is also one of the goalkeepers, she's got a Achilles tendon problem today. Most likely won't see her play, but we'll keep an eye on out for her. So that's the LV Blazers, state cup champions from last year. Now they're up, uh, they're tied one to one with the Stars. And just a few minutes now left in the first half of competition. Nice intercepted by number six, Naomi Chu. That's number 17 now. Jennifer Graham trying to bring the ball down close, but the pressure's there as well with the Stars. Wynn carries the ball out of play. They're going to give the ball to the Stars. Okay, 
Now you see number 10 right in front of us, Brittany Kirk. The ball goes out of bounds. Number 19, that's Danielle Della Corna. She brings the ball into play. You can hear the coach on the sidelines, pressure, pressure. That's the normal call, and that's what it takes to try and keep control. Nice sliding kick. Nice sliding kick. That was Heidi Snyder trying to bring the ball quickly down to the center goal area for a shot on goal. And they're going to give the ball now to the Stars. And the kick comes up, and the ball is into play. That will be the end of the first half of play. Tremendous competition from both teams. The score right now, LV Blazers won, Claremont St Stars won. And we'll be back to start the second half in just a little bit. We are back online here for the second half start of this match, and it is a good match indeed. The National Cup Championship, it is one to one, LV Blazers and the Claremont Stars. And here we go with the second half of this great, great soccer ca action. With the second half comes the change of the field. We now have the stars moving from right to left as you look at your television screen. Blazers defending the left side will be moving from left to right to score their goals. And that we've had few, but we've had two. That's one each. LV Blazers, basically within the first few minutes of the half, at the start of the game, they scored on a long kick by Melissa Cleal. And then towards right towards the end of the first half, we had some hot action as we see right now. And there's going to be a shot on goal coming up by number 17, Jennifer Graham. And she just couldn't quite get it ready as it was good defense by the Stars themselves. Ball coming in now, knocked down and uh, handled nicely by Megan McNatt. So coming into the last part of the first half, we had Veronica Zapetta and Valerie Podesta as they go a one-two combination right in front of the net. And the ball squirted in there to make it one-to-one. -one. And now as we come across, the ball's going to be passed on down to the middle. Emily, that's you. And now you see number three, Janet Light, with some nice trapping and trying to get control as she pushes it over across the line. Number seven now, Misty Preciado with the ball. Ball, ball goes out of bounds. They'll be giving the ball to the Blazers. And on the far sideline, the ball is put into play. And the wind is continuing to be a major force here in this game. Uh, this is not a breeze. This is actually a strong wind. And it's going to be playing havoc as you get close to the nets. The ball squirts away now and there's an opportunity of ball on run coming up quickly to take the ball amanda olson now and she's going to put the ball back down high spinning ball bounces up and over trying for it blazers now putting the ball quick down there pressure pressure take her back take her Number four now, that's Becky Miller trying to get control with number 12, Jamie Farnworth with the size difference. And that's going to mean that she's going to have some a uh, little bit better control. That's Becky Miller who brings the ball out, and it'll be a corner kick for the Stars as they're now trying to mount some type of... That's Coach Alberto Brew 
of the Blazers who's doing a job of trying to coach from the sideline, letting him know what he wants his teammates to do. Mike Hammond's the head coach for the Claremont Stars. That was Alberto Brew for the LV Blazers. The ball needs to come into play is what the refs are indicating, and there's the throw in. Naomi Chu, good job of some pressure. Nice sliding attempt by Jennifer Graham. And now the ball as it worsens its way down. Coming in nicely was Brittany Kirk, number 10. And now the ball is being sent across. The ball's going to now go out of bounds. That's number four, Danielle Hess, who put the spin on the ball. And of course, the wind took the ball right out of play. I'm going to take a moment to get the ball because when that ball gets going with the wind behind it, it's going to travel a long way. The ball's now being brought back in to the touch line. The throw in by the Blazer. A familiar sight, Danielle Hess with the ball. Now the Blazers now with the ball in the attempt. First now with the ball, that's number 12, Jamie Farnworth now looking for a throw in. Goes right over the head of Veronica and the ball goes out and they'll be giving the ball to the Stars. Stars now looking for an opportunity to set up an offensive attack. Stars once again in the green and black. That'll be number 12, Jamie Farnworth doing the job of throwing the ball in. Ball goes right back out. Right back out, they're going to give it to. Looks like it's going to be given to the Stars on a corner kick. Number three, that's Janet Light, who says she's going to do the duty. And here's going to be a tough shot because it's going to have that hooking or slicing with the win. The kick comes in. In that case, it was right in front of that. There's a shot on goal. Another shot on goal, and scores. They called it an offside. The referee calling an offside play, and that designates what thought was to be a score. That happened so fast, there was a lot of confusion on that. So as part of this game goes on, you have what you would consider good luck in some cases, and that's what happened with the Blazers. They were caught off guard a little bit. And it turns out that the reason that the Stars had the advantage right there is there was a little bit of offside. So we'll go on from here. It's still one to one, and now it's an opportunity for the Stars, as well as the Blazers, to try and put something together. That's all right. Both sides of the teams now are getting very heated and very animated, and that's fine because this is the National Cup Competition Championship. The winner of this game is going to have to be able to go on and qualify to participate in the regional final competition in Montana later this year. There's a shot on goal coming up. Pressure now being put on by the Stars. That's Lauren Loftus doing a great job against Veronica Zepeda in the pressure. Okay, now there's a little bit of frustration coming on part as whether or not the referees are making some good calls. That's going to happen as we get closer and closer, deeper and deeper in the second half of this game. It is a close game, a 1-1 corner kick for the Stars. Ball coming in as it turns in. That is going to be a score. That is a score. Number three, Janet Light. And I'll tell you what happened there. It's the same thing that we talked about earlier. That was the wind hooking that ball, and there was nothing that could be done by it. 
The shot by Janet Lights. She put the ball deep in the air, right into the wind. The ball hooked naturally because of the wind, and it went right in above Amanda Olson. And that's what we knew was going to happen with this type of wind problem today. Two to one now the scores. Claremont Stars on top. And now bringing it down is Veronica Zepeda. Deep into the corner. Good effort by number 10, Heidi Snyder, along with Danielle Hess. Heidi with the slide tackle being able to get the ball out of bounds and keep any more scoring threat at bay just for the temporarily moment. It's now going to be the Stars corner kick. That'll be number 12, Jamie Farnworth doing the job. Same exact. Oh, they're going to call it a throw-in. Ball back up in the air, and it goes up and over the net. Uh, this is a, that's a tough area to be able to try and defend, and all you can do sometimes is just watch what happens with the ball, with the wind. You get that ball up in the air, and of course the Blazers are going to want to do the same thing when they get down to their end of the field. But uh, that's what the job we have at hand right now. Right off the back of Becky Miller as the ball carries over, and the ball now out of bounds, but it will stay the Blazers. Quick throw in by Emily Kraft, and the ball goes right back out. And Emily now once again throwing the ball back in, and the ball goes right back out. Throw into the wind is going to be tough, and the ball's going to go right back out again. Blazers now having an opportunity to see what they can do. There's a throw in. Stays up in the air. Veronica Zapeta doing the job, doing a great job with that ball, and it's now back on a nice pass. Ball creams off and now breaks loose, and it's Valerie Podesta with an offer right in front of us number four Becky Miller with a good opportunity passes it down and now it's kicked back nice strong double header by both teams as it goes out of bounds Heidi Snyder now looking for a quick flick puts it up high nice header by Heidi and the ball is up in the air you see multiple headers here and that's Quick action right for us, and the ball goes right through, and they're going to be giving the ball to the Blazers. So they'll have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the Stars as they try and set up an offensive attack right in front of us here. Ball now going down the sideline. It goes out of bounds. They're going to give it to the Stars. There's number four right in front of us. Danielle Hess tries to trap it, but it goes back out, so it'll be the Blazers' ball with number five, Emily Kraft, throwing the ball back into play. It gets by some of the Stars. The first one, ref. Well done, Jenny. All right, good stuff. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Stay here. Free kick now by the Stars, and they'll bring the ball back into play. Naomi Chu, and the ball is out by Danielle Hess. They're going to be giving the ball to the Blazers. Two to one is the score. Okay, rest now saying that it's the Stars ball. Hey, hey, forget it, forget it. Coach Alberto trying to keep his parents at bay as they try and keep control of their emotions because they know they have a job to do that's on the field and that's what he's concerned with. Ball goes out of bounds as it plunks into our cameraman Everybody's safe, and the ball's going to be given to the Stars. Right in front of us, there's a throw in by number 12, Jamie Farnworth. And so we got some real nice close action right up on front, and you can see the aggressiveness of these. Ball up in the air right from us. Look out. Look out. 
That was a clash of the titans there. Number four, Danielle Hess, and number 12, Jamie Farnworth, bumping heads and the mouth. They're going to take a timeout and make sure that everybody's okay. Looks like they are. And the ball now goes downfield as they're trying to set up. The Blazers trying to set up a scoring opportunity. Ball's going to be given now to the Blazers down in the corner. And here's an opportunity now. They're going to try and slice the ball just as the other ones did. Try and slice the ball right in front of the net. Here comes the kick now. Putting it up. It sliced and diced, but it went up and over the net. That wasn't exactly what they wanted to do, but you did see what happened. The wind picked up the ball, sliced it to the right direction, but it went up and over. But uh, that was what they had the right idea, and they're going to try that again when they can. It's going to be a goal kick now by the uh, Stars to be able to put the ball back out down into play. Both of these teams having excellent records all season long. As we mentioned earlier, Alberto Brew, who is the head coach for the Blazers, they are the League Cup champs out of their division. Girls under 14, the El Camino Real League. And then, of course, in the Coast League, uh, in the Claremont area, with the Claremont Stars, that's Coach Mike Hammond. Uh, his season record, 27-1-1 overall, having a great season as well. Both. Uh, winning their semifinal matches very handily. Uh, three to one was the score. The Blazers over the Hotspurs in their last semifinal match. And of course then very handily the Claremont Stars beating the Mission Viejo Flash four to nothing. The Claremont Stars girls, they've been playing together for well over four years, between four and five years, according to Mike Hammond. And as you can see, they play together very nicely, just as well as the LV Blazers do as well. And they've been, of course, playing together for uh, many years also. Ball now being shot down, squirted down there. Someone's trying to get down there, but there's no Blazers available to try and pick up the pass. That's Naomi Chu with a good job. Kept in nicely by the Stars, and now the Blazers with Naomi Chu trying to set something up. But the pressure's there. That's with Veronica Zapeta and Jessica Rees. The ball coming out of bounds. Ball coming out of bounds. Ball now up in the air. Kicked back nicely by number four, Be uh, Becky Miller. Referee giving the ball to the Stars. Alberto Brew, a good job of trying to keep his team under control. Uh, making sure that he warns his players not to commit fouls. Uh, try and keep sportsmanship because they know they have a level head is going to keep them in the game. They don't want to get... Jenna, hit it. They'll be giving the ball now to the Blazers and that'll be a Kick from the sidelines. Corner kick, they'll call it. Ginny Wirtz, number 11. They're going to try and do the same thing now. If she can kick it up in the air and see if she can hook it now this time. That's what they're going to look for. The ball's up in the air with the hook. There's a nice shot. Oh, just missed. It was right there. The ball was hooking nicely. Just couldn't quite get the handle on the ball to put it in there. Just went to the far outside of the post. And the Stars just miss just missed getting a goal scored on them. That was number four, Becky Miller, that was there for this, the uh, Blazers. And they're gonna wanna try and do that again. Coming up now, and the ball now kicked out of bounds. Just to try and put a squash on any type of scoring threat, that's Christina Von Crow. It sure seems that with this wind, uh, the way that the scoring opportunities are coming, is their scoring opportunities are coming with the way the ball is slicing and hooking up in the air. Uh, all of the scores, well, I take that back. Uh, Melissa Cleel's first score was a straight on shot up in the air, but the other uh, two scores by the Stars have, have come in uh, with balls up in the air. A lot of pressure now by both teams. Ball way up in the air, headed off nicely. Now both of these teams have played each other before in competition. The Blazers have 
played the Stars before, and according to Coach Mike Hammond of the Stars, it's pretty much been a 50-50 outcome with both teams winning and losing a couple. Ball now trying to be uh, brought down. There's some nice running. There's a nice pass. That's number four, Becky Miller, trying to pick up with it. The pass was just a little bit in front of her. There's a slide picked up now, picked up by the goalkeeper, Megan McNatt. And she kicks it, clears it. Doesn't go very far with the win today. Now the Blazers trying to put something together, and that's Veronica Zapata. Now with the ball, and she passes it nicely to Danielle Hess. But right there is number 10, Heidi Snyder. The pressure is being put on by the Blazers. That's what Coach Alberto wants them to do, is have the pressure put on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Ball is now out of bounds, and it is being carried quite far into the actual another field of play. So while we wait to get the ball back, we'll let you know that uh, the Rosters on both teams, uh, each team having 15 players today. With all of these players actually having opportunity to play in here. Wind not letting up at all today. Constant stream of, of wind. And actually it is not going from right to left or left to right. It's actually coming right at us at this point. So as you're looking at your television screen, the wind would be coming right at you into your face. And that's what's uh, giving really the uh, goalkeeper some real problems as the ball is being uh, kicked from these corner areas and slicing and dicing its way in the air. Ball now is in play, as you can see, and the storm now trying to put something together. A lot of action out on the far side. Ball squirts down the sideline, being picked up by number 10 of the Stars. That's uh, Brittany Kirk. And now bring it back by the Blazers. Ball now being given to the Blazers. Too much of a, a little bit of a shove by the Stars. They're gonna give a foul to one of the Star players. And as we get ready to put the ball back into play, it'll be the Blazers ball. Out of Thousand Oaks, California, this is the Girls Under 14 National Cup Championship. The great soccer action here in Riverside, California. It's really a nice day, except for the wind that is continuing to cause problems for everyone here today. You can see the flags as they are bustling heavily under the weight of the wind. Ball comes down now, picked up by the Blazer Amanda Olson as she puts the ball way up in the sky and that's actually a nice carry by Amanda. That ball's going to continue to go on and it will go out of bounds. It'll be the Stars ball but give Amanda credit with a good solid leg kick on that one. Looks like we're going to be having a substitution from the Stars. Substitution called for the Stars and we'll check on that number in just a minute of who's coming in. Ball's being thrown into play right now. Header up in the air. Good stop. Heidi Snyder now trying to put the ball in there. That's uh, Naomi Chu. Ball now coming down. Ball being kicked over there nicely. Looks like Whitney Horn, number two, is the player. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney Horn <laughs> is the player now that uh, has come in as a substitution for the Stars. And we're going to get a substitution as well coming into play. Will be number 12, uh, Michaela Skelly back in, well, with number three, Alexis Varian. <laughs> Officially having to wait till the players come off the field. They're back on now. Goal kick to try and bring the ball back down into play. There's footwork galore up in front of the goal net for the Blazers. Stars with some heavy pressure. Number 12, Mikola Skelly is sacrificing the body for that one to try and keep the ball down. And now number three, Janet Light is going to try and 
put the ball. This could be a little dangerous with a strong kick. It could be right into, carry it far enough right into the net. Let's see what she tries to do here. Yep, that's what she's going to try and do. Picked up nicely by Amanda Olson. And the ball's now kicked out and carried up into the air with number three. Carries it right back over her head, number eight, Christina Van Krogh. But the ball comes right back across the line. Ball's going to be carrying out of bounds. That was number 10, Heidi Snyder, with the ball kick. Now the wind picks up again. Big. That was a strong throw by a star. And now the ball carrying down there. It'll be out of bounds. It goes off the leg of Brittany Kirk, number 10 of the Stars. And they'll be given the ball. 14 number 14 now coming in. That's uh, Allie Trowbridge back in. Allie will take the throw in. Action right in front of us. That's a header by Danielle Hess. And you can see some real action. Time. Yeah. Yellow card. Yellow card now given to one of the sto Stars players. Ball kicked down deep. Number four, Becky Miller trying to take control of the ball. But heavy pressure now being put on by the Stars. Ball goes out of bounds. Throw in by the Blazers. Veronica Cepeda now passing off and back once again to herself. Veronica, nice footwork here as we see her moving down close to us. A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure now being put on. There's a pass, but it's intercepted. Tripping call. Tripping call. And a yellow card being given to one of the Blazers players. Coach Alberto Brew trying to remind his players that those types of things cannot happen as the ball's coming down, be picked up by Amanda Olson. Two to one is the score. Claremont Stars ahead, two to one, as we go into another foul being called. Once again, Coach Alberto Brew of the Blazers trying to remind his players that you need to need to keep your calm and your cool. That's number three, Janet Light, bringing the ball down deep. Picked up nicely by Amanda Olson, and she'll try and clear it out and bring the Blazers back into play. Nice kick by Amanda as it carries completely across midfield, carries down, and that's number 17, Jennifer Graham, doing a good job. Maintains to be Blazers' ball. With number 14, Allie Trowbridge, now looking for a throw. Number five now, Emily Kraft now being given that duty. High throw up in the air. Shot across. That's picked up by Megan McNatt. And they'll give it a goal kick. Corner kick is what they've given to the Blazers. Now here's an opportunity for them to put a slice on the ball up in the air. And let's see if it can get into their goal. There's the ball up in the air, what they're looking for. Didn't quite get the slice on it, and it's picked up by one of the stars, and it's going to be going out of bounds. It'll be back again with the Blazers. Back it up, back it up, let's go. Hey, back it up, back it up, Clint. Ball into play right in front of us, number 10, Brittany Kirk. Step up, step up, step up. Step up. Offsides is called. Coach Alberto now trying to give some animated instruction. 
to his players to try and keep them close. They know the time is running out here in the second half. Two to one is the score. Picked up, picked up by Megan McNatt. Naomi Chu now with the ball as it carries through. Emily Kraft now running after it. Emily, nice pass to number 14, Allie Trowbridge. And now number four, that's Becky Miller trying to put the ball in. And it's now going to be kicked back out, kicked back out to one of the stars. Nice move by number nine, Valerie Podesta, as she tries to pass it off to Veronica Zapeta. It is intercepted nicely, and now here's the scoring opportunity. Stars and Blazers going at it head to head. Stars and Blazers going at it. Blazers now with their turn with the ball. Stars now clearing it out. Kicked and cleared out. High action, hot action right now. This is the best that we've seen all day today. And now the Blazers with the ball, number 17, Jennifer Graham looking for something to do. Good footwork as she tries to put the ball into play near the goal area. Ball now kicked out of bounds. And they're going to be giving it to the Blazers. Great action here coming in towards the close of the game. Two to one's the score, and it's going to be up to the Blazers right now to try to be able to put something together to get a quick score. Number 11, Jenny Wirtz. She's on the corner. They're going to look for it now. They're going to try and put the ball up in the air and put the corner kick and put some spin on it. Low drive. Get the ball back. Wasn't quite what Jenny wanted to do. Wanted to put the ball up in the air in front of the net. Just didn't do the job as the ball stays low and goes actually behind the net. And so they'll give a goal kick now to the Stars. And they're going to go ahead and bring the ball back out to play. Everybody's on their feet right now as headed back out by one of the Blazers. And now Stars take their turn at it. That's number four, Danielle Hess. Ball's out, and they're going to throw it in. Blazers, they're not wasting any time. Putting some move on them. Tries to intercept. Good drives by both teams. Ball's going to be going out of bounds. Get wide. Hey, Jimmy, get wide. Get wide. Throw in by the Stars. Now they're down deep in the Blazers' territory. They're looking for an opportunity to add to their score. And now clearing out quickly is what they want to do. Is Blazers with the ball. Amanda Olson now with a goal kick to get it out of there. And tries to bring the ball down. It's headed back by the Stars. And now Blazers with an opportunity. Pressure being put on by the Stars as the Blazers try and put something together. That's number four, Becky Miller now looking for something. Nice pass by number 14, Allie Trowbridge. Okay, the ball will stay with the Blazers and now another opportunity. They're gonna try and set up an offensive attack because it's their turn to score, they feel, and they needed to put this game into a 2-2 tie. Ball being thrown in. A lot of heads, a lot of bodies looking for something cleared out temporarily. And that Becky Miller with a nice return on the ball. Back in, weak side. Back in. Number 18. Good ball by number 18, Lauren Loftus. Hey. Now the fight is on for the ball, intercepted again by Lauren. And that's Naomi Chu now looking for an opportunity deep inside, but the ball's cleared. Ball's way up in the scare. Check it out. 
Ball's out of bounds. That was a high kick by Amanda Olson, the goalkeeper, who came up as a sweep position. And now the ball is going to be given to the Stars. Number four, Danielle Hess, right in front of us here. Looking for the throw-in, and the wind picking up strongly and fiercely once again. The ball headed right back out again. It will remain the Stars' ball. Claremont Stars, girls under 14. We're at a 2-1 ball game. Stars in front and trying to keep that lead. Blazers very much trying to bring maintain control of the ball so they can bring it downfield and put a score on themselves. The wind is tough, but so are the stars with keeping pressure. It's been Alberto Brew's uh, cry all day long is pressure, pressure. Both teams have done it, but uh, if the Blazers are going to be able to score, they've got to get something on the stars who are keeping tremendous pressure on the Blazers at this time. Kick deep down there by Naomi Chu, heading off each of the players. Corner. Becky Miller with the shot. And they'll be giving the ball to Megan McNad, who will be bringing the ball back into play with the goal kick. This is an excellent game in all aspects. Sportsmanship has been very high and positive. Uh, the play-by-play -play of each of the sides has been excellent. There's been a lot of great footwork, great plays, great headers. Uh, this is actually, as you can see, why these are two of the national final teams of this National Cup championship, both having great athletic team members. Both of these teams, I'm sure, will be exhausted by the end of the game. Now, here's an opportunity coming up. Okay. Coach is giving approval over here on the Blazers' sideline. They know what they're trying to do, and they think it's the right thing to do. Uh, what a move by the Stars as they're going to bring it down. Nice driving by the Stars. That's number 10, Brittany Kirk. Broken off, and now the ball comes back to play. It's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, number five. Amanda Olson coming up with a save, takes the kick and then ricochets off one of the stars out of play. So it's actually going to be the Blazers ball. And so it looks like Amanda Olson will be putting the ball back into play for the Blazers. Putting the ball down and doing a good job all day long of that goal kick of putting it back into play. She's going to try and bring it back down. Nice trap, and here's a scoring opportunity, possibly by the Stars. There's the ball, a shot on goal, and just up and over the top part of the goal. Stars had the scoring opportunity. Strong leg kick by the Stars, but it sailed high. And that's what the Stars have been doing all day long. Number five, Dina Miller, with that strong attempt. And, of course, once again, Amanda Olson will now put the ball back into play. And there it is. You hear the whistle by the referee, and that indicates the end of the game, which means it's the Claremont Stars, champions and girls under 14. Final score, Stars 2, Blazers 1. Recapping this scoring opportunity, it was Brittany Kirk scoring first for the Stars, making it 1 to nothing followed by a score with Melissa Cleal for the Blazers, making it one-to-one. -one. But it was Janet Light of the Stars with the final shot, making it two-to-one, and the final score. And you can see the sportsmanship handshakes as they do at the end of the game for the Blazers. So we shall see the final score here is the Claremont Stars two and the LV Blazers won. And this was a fantastic game. As you can see, both coaches congratulating each other at midfield. The teams definitely were... Uh, here to play today, there's always has to be a, a winner for the day, and it just so happens today it's the Claremont Stars, the girls under 14 National Cup Championships, and good luck to them as they qualify for a regional final competition in the state of Montana later on this year. Uh, this is Dan Williams, along with George Langevin Projections, Tony R. Cameraman. We thank you for being here today. We'll see you again soon.
2014 National Cup Final. I want to thank you both for participating in the tournament. I want to thank all your parents and other relatives who supported these girls in the uh, State Cup. I think it's an exciting year, 1996. Women, it's first time women are going to have uh, soccer in the Olympics. So I know you'll have some new uh, heroes and heroines, pardon me, after the Olympics. And you guys are on your way to the same kind of stardom. We will do first the finalist team with a score so close to two to one. I know you know that even our second and third place teams in Cal South are probably uh, the best along with our champion in the far western states. Whenever our champion goes to regionals, they usually prevail. I'm not, I try not to brag, but the other states aren't here, so I can say it. And uh, sometimes when we send a wild card, which occasionally happens in the way the matrix is drawn, last year it happened in under 19 boys, and our wild card and our champion played each other in the final match. So, we have great teams in Cal South, and a score as close as two to one indicates that you are both very well matched. I would like now to bring up the coach of, I think this must be, well, I'm familiar with Mrs. Wirtz, but I think the real coach for your team for Las Virgenes Belazers is Alberto Brew. Is that right? On the left. On the left. I'm looking at the wrong uniforms. Pardon me, girl. Okay. To have the coach now introduce his players. Before I do that, I'd like to introduce the other Cup Committee people who are here. I'm Judith Westling, the State Cup Chairman. But uh, this is Ray Horsepool, who is our newly elected and almost taking office president of Cal South. <laughs> and with the assistance of Alex Sanchez, who is the Open Cup for Olders uh, chairman. Your chairman, George Benton, could not be here today. He has a team playing at the other venue for the Olders, the 16th through 18th. So, now we move to the coach and your players. Okay. Uh, before I go, I just want to congratulate Claremont Stars. Uh, it's a very good team, and uh, it was a pleasure playing a good team in the final, and uh, I'm sure you will do very well and represent uh, Cal South very well. Let's so give them a hand. I also want to thank uh, State Cup Committee here because uh, I think it's a very good venue. I think the fields were good. I think the refereeing was good. And uh, obviously, no one can control the wind here. But uh, I think it was a very good uh, tournament and run very well. And uh, uh, joy to be a part of it. Uh, and lastly, I want to, before I introduce, I want to congratulate the girls. Uh, since we lost this time, I got to say that we won last year. So uh, this, they're last year's champs and they come back and, and in their finals again. So uh, I think this is a heck of a team. They're doing a very good job. Okay, I'm gonna bring the players up here one at a time, and give them their medals. Uh, Lauren Loftus. All right. Alexis Varian. Heidi Snyder. Emily Kraft. Congratulations. Jenna Wirtz. <laughs> Danielle Delacorna. Melissa Cleo. Rachel Victorine. I got him. I got him. Aaron Rice. Jenny Graham. Our goalkeeper, Amanda Olson. Becky Miller. At the parking lot. Naomi Chu.
Christina Von Krog. Ali Trowbridge. And uh, Michaela Skelly. Again, congratulations and, and thank you. Thank you. Now, you got my letter, you've chosen a fair place. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. Snickers this year and USYSA, United States Youth Soccer, um, has asked us to have chosen from each team in the Snickers finals a player recognized for fair play. By that, they mean sportsmanship, and I've asked the coach to decide on his criteria, whether it's this game or the whole year or whatever, and say a few words about the recipient of um, the player on your team. This is, again, not a most valuable player award. You are all most valuable players. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, sportsmanship means giving to the team and means giving to the game. And that's the way I defined it. And uh, uh, of course, all these girls have given, and I've got a certain player that's uh, been asked to do a lot of things, uh, come off the bench, play different positions, uh, not play sometimes, play a lot, and uh, has always responded positively for the team. And that's Ali Trowbridge. First of all, to the most virtuous girls, congratulations for being in the final again. That says a lot about your coach. In fact, I was with Mike Hammond last night, and he was at my house, and I asked him how long he's known A.B., and he said, Mike, 10 years ago, he played left back, and I played right back, and you were the goalie, correct? And I said, did you ever in your mind envision that you would be playing each other in a final? And he said, never, never in his, never in his vision. And I've, you know, I, I've become a fan of soccer, and I've watched Mike Hammond, and I've watched AB, and you know, you guys are both the best. I mean, there's no question that these are the two best coaches. Luckily, one is way out there, and one is way out here, and uh, it showed today in the play. Uh, we'd like to thank the State Cup Committee. For again, the outstanding venue. Whoever ordered the win, though, got to fire that guy. This was terrible. Uh, the win, not the game. To our team, you know, we started four years ago. I think maybe we always had this in mind. You know, it's a uh, congratulations. I, I don't know what to say. I'm so happy. We'll just call up. We'll start with Mike Hammond. Mike Hammond. You want to go ahead? And I'll just hand them out. You just call them. Okay. Veronica Sabeda. Whitney Horn. Nice job. Whitney, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Janet Light. Nice you just won the medal. <laughs> congratulations, Thank you. Danielle Hess. Congratulations. <laughs> Dina Miller. Congratulations. <laughs> Kelly O'Shea. Congratulations. Misty Preciado. Valerie Podesta. Good job, Valerie. Valerie, congratulations. Brittany Kirk. Jermaine Philippe. Congratulations. Jamie Farnworth. 
Go right for the metal. Yeah. <laughs> Forget us. <laughs> Cindy Stevens. Sarah Escabel. Jesse Reyes. Megan McNabb. Nicole Benke. That's it. Well, coach, congratulations. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get that other word out. One. Congratulations to you. You guys each get one of these. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So. For the sportsmanship award, Mike and I, again, I told you guys came over to my house last night. I mean, we, uh, we talked till 3.30 in the morning trying to figure this one out. At one time, we said, we're not going to give it. How can you give one? How can you give to the other? So we kept reading it. And I'll read to you what our criteria was, because this is what they told us. Each coach will most improve, most inspirational, best influence on other players, best all-around sportsmanship in the game or the season. This is not an MVP award. The theme is sportsmanship. We could not give an MVP award. There would be no way. We would have given this to Megan, but you hit that girl last week. That didn't help. So we, we decided, we figured it out. We went to the dictionary, we opened it up, we went to sportsmanship, and there was a picture of Jessica Reyes in the dictionary. And that's what made our mind up. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We done? Yeah. Now we have a few things to do. Thank you. Thank you. Who's that? Again, Las Virginas, thank you very much. Now, You're a great coaches, team. don't leave because, of course, we have these team awards. Of course, the ball from Reebok with the sponsor for you to thank add you. to your other 30. Thank you. The Snickers drinks container to take to regionals. And this is really unfair. <laughs> I know, I know. It's difficult. It's difficult. And the coaches award, there's two of you, but there's only one plaque. Who gets it? <laughs> I get the water Do you have a medical kit? No. <laughs> Thank you, Judith. Well done. Just tell your manager to come and see me. Thanks a lot, you guys. Played a great game. Good job. Thank you both. Thank you both for the National Cup. Now, did you get the uh, use of Hi everybody, I'm Dan Williams back once again along with head coach Mike Hammond and the Claremont Stars. Stars they are, the National Cup champions today. <laughs> Beating the LV Blazers 2-1 to one today and we'll be back in just a moment. We've got a full line of interviews with all the players. <laughs> I'm back with you, Dan Williams along with Danielle Hess and... Brittany Kirk, congratulations on your win. First of all, what position do you play, Danielle? Um, left halfback. Now, I saw you out there on the far sidelines all the time, bringing the ball down the field. Uh, how long have you been playing soccer for? Like, eight years. And how long have you been with this team? Like, four years. And tell me something today about the weather, about the wind, just about how you felt you played today. I don't know. We played, I don't, how I played? Yeah, how you played. Um, okay, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What do you think of uh, of Coach Mike? Is he is he a tough coach? Not really. You you do you like him? Yeah. Okay. And how long has Mike been your coach? Four years. Okay. And now we ne next year we got Brittany Kirk. Brittany, what position do you play, and what uh, number do you wear on your ju jersey? Um, forward number ten. And how long have you been playing soccer yourself? Um, for about nine years. Now, do you play any other types of sports? Not really. Now, have you played the Blazers before in competition? No, our team has, but I was not playing with the team when we played them. Now, were you on the team when you played the Blazers? Yeah. Now, what, what was the difference today that caused you guys to come out on, as a, on top today? Well, the last time we played them, we had, like, three games that day, and we were really tired. Mm -hmm. and so, I guess we wanted it more. Excellent. Okay, listen, we congratulate both of you, and good luck. Where are you headed next now? 
Well, we have to, we're going to Wyoming for the regionals. Well, congratulations and good luck to you guys in Wyoming. Thanks. <laughs> we are back live and the wind is blowing up quite a bit. It kind of did this all day long today. Nicole Binke along with Misty Preciado and we'll start with you, Nicole. I know you were injured in today's game. I know it's probably a little disappointing that you weren't there, but tell me how you felt the team played overall. Well, I think the team did pretty good. I think they wanted it more than the other team. That's why we won. You know, I heard on the other side, uh, we were actually on the Blazers side, and the coach over there kept saying pressure, pressure. But I noticed if there was anybody putting pressure on, it was you guys. Is that something that you work on? Yeah, our coach always says you have to want it more and you have to win the 50-50 balls. So we go at it harder and we, we get the ball and we are able to work around them and win. Excellent. Fantastic. Now, do you do any other types of sports yourself besides soccer? Well, not really. Soccer is your sport soccer that you like. Is my sport. And how long have you been playing soccer? <laughs> For about seven or eight years. Excellent. And yourself? Uh, nine years. Nine years. Now, how about as a team with all these other players? Um, I've only been on it for about a year now. Mm -hmm. This was um, State Cup last year was my first tournament with them, and mm -hmm. so it's been a year exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Now, you both are looking forward to going to Wyoming as well? Yeah. Okay. Are your parents going to go with you? Probably not. <laughs> how about you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll find that out. Congratulations again, both of you. That's Nicole and Misty. Congratulations, you two. <laughs> Now, seated with me is two more of the superstars from the Claremont Stars team, and that is Whitney Horn and Janet Light. Whitney's sitting right next to me. Whitney, today's game, how was the win out there for you guys in play? It was very frustrating, but we stuck with it, and obviously we showed that we could play under any conditions. Absolutely. And now, Janet, on yourself, could you tell me a little bit about uh, the score that you made? Oh, well, I guess... What I was trying to do, actually, it was meant to be a cross, but um, the wind sort of helped angle it in and just went over her head. I was, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Obviously, it's great anytime someone scores, and you're absolutely right about that, is the wind kind of took that ball and just curved it right in there, and there wasn't much to do. Now, how about, how much time do you spend a week practicing? Oh, uh, well, lately, we've been practicing like three, four times a week for a state cup. And how, how about school compared to practice time? Do you get a chance to do both? Well, yes, it's usually practice only lasts throughout the evening, and you have time to do your homework and everything like that. It, it doesn't really cause a conflict. And besides soccer, what other types of things do you do? Well, I'm in student council for my Claremont High School, and it's like a big activity for that, mm -hmm. but I don't do any other sports. Do you play uh, uh, soccer at school at all? No, uh, my team, my school here doesn't really have a soccer team, so just sort of soccer club is my main thing. Okay, so from a score of 1 to 10, 10 being best, how would you guys play today? Oh, 10! Ten. Ten. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe you would say that. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations, both of you. All right. We are back, and with me is Veronica Zepeda as well as Jessica Reyes. Veronica, uh, you're seated right next to me. What I'd like to ask you is, and I was calling the game out there, is you have got some awfully quick feet. Now, you know, is that just natural? Do you work on that, or, or uh, you got to be probably one of the fastest on the team? Is that right? No, I. <laughs> Are you also one of the joke? Do you like to tell jokes? You just have a good time out there, don't you? Yeah, I don't like to tell jokes though. Is she? Is she always? Is she always this way? Uh, okay. All right. Well, congratulations. Okay, we'll let you stop, and we'll talk to uh, Jessica right here. First of all, you're holding uh, a trophy. Tell me a little bit about what this is. It's a Snickers Sportsman uh, of the Year type of trophy. Yep, I guess so. <laughs> it's unfair. Now, why do you? What, now, don't try and boast. I know it's, it's hard because you'll be a little embarrassed, but, but what does it mean, do you think, to be named Sportsman of the Year? Well, <laughs> um, I guess it's pretty nice. That's all I can say. Well, that's actually a great trophy to have because, you know, I know all the coaches are always looking towards uh, putting emphasis on good sportsmanship, and to get an award like that is just a fantastic, so congratulations. Now, on your side of it, how do you compare yourself as a good sportsman? Okay, pretty good, I guess. What about today's game? How do you feel that you did out there just for yourself when you grade yourself? Okay. I think I did. Anything that you could do better, you think, out there? <laughs> <laughs> You're just an all-around fun person, eh? How about you, Jessica? Well, there's always room for improvement, but I think I did pretty good. I think you all did fantastic. We've got a sportsman winner. We've got Jessica out there who really showed them how to do the great footwork out there. Congratulations both and good luck to you as you move on. Thank you. Thank you.
you. With me is Valerie Podesta and Kelly O'Shea. First of all, we'll uh, talk with you. Kelly, who's over on here, congratulations. Now, what position do you play? Right, fullback. Okay, and exactly out there today, what was your um, purpose or what were you trying to accomplish out there in your position? I guess, like, just to get it outside to the halfbacks so they can get it up. What was the toughest part about playing against the Blazers today? The wind. Yeah. No, no one on the Blazers was that tough. Like, I don't know. No, that's great. That's absolutely fantastic. And, and so forth for uh, Valerie, how do you feel you did out there? Um, pretty good. I think I could have done a little better. In what areas? Trying to score more. <laughs> I could have got a goal in, hopefully. But now you were actually, I believe, is there the, 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 there was a there was just a bunch of you around the goal net at that time. And can you describe that one goal that you were near? Was it an assist on your part, or did you put it in, or what? I crossed it from the left corner. Okay, congratulations on that one. How do you how do you play in the wind like this? What do you have to think about? Anything in particular? The direction of the wind mm -hmm. and where you kick the ball. Mm -hmm. And what about practices? Now you guys are practicing three <laughs> or four times a week right now. What what's the toughest part of a practice for you? The running and trying to be serious. Uh huh. And how about you? The running. Okay. Are you guys a pretty serious team? A practice? <laughs> a practice. <laughs> no. Obviously, you're a serious team when it comes down to it, obviously, so we know that. But you guys, coach keeps it kind of lively and have fun out there? Yes. Okay. What would you like to say to your coach? Thank you, and he worked hard to try to coach us and spend his time on us. Mm hmm. And how about you? Um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We'll, we'll come back with a couple more in just a minute. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you. With me is Cindy Stevens and Megan McNatt right next to me. Let's start with Megan Close. So she's the goalkeeper today. What was it like to be a goalkeeper in today's game? Um, it was kind of hard because of the wind. It just took the ball. Now, when you compare uh, the Blazers and their aggressiveness with any of the other teams that you played, for example, even the uh, the Flash, were they uh, were these were they tougher, easier, or what were they like? Today? Um, they were a more physical team. They just wanted the ball a lot. And was this something that uh, you play uh, goalkeeper every game? Um, yeah. And where do you get your good-looking shirt at? That's what I want to know. No, your your goalie shirt. Oh. Did I'm... you did you hand pick that out yourself? No, my mom did. Well, it looks it looks good. Cindy, yourself. Now, what position do you play out there? I play sweeper. Okay. And tell me what a sweeper does for those that don't know. Um, if someone gets through, that the fullback let through, or if the ball goes over, then I get it and try and get it out. And how about how do you rate uh, the the Blazers today in regards to theirs? Have you played them before on this team? Uh, yeah, I was there in Santa Barbara when we played them, mm -hmm. and they're a really good team. Now, what about uh, having time to do other things besides soccer? What do you like to do besides uh, soccer? Um, I like to play softball. Good. And how about yourself? Uh, I try and concentrate on school. <laughs> You try and concentrate on school? Well, that's excellent to do. Well, congratulations, both of you. Now, see, neither one of you have any nice scrapes on the knees. I know some of you, oh, yeah, you do. Can you get that one there, Tony? That's a good-looking scrape. Okay, congratulations to both of you. Good luck in, uh, in uh, Wyoming. Now with me is uh, Mike O'Shea, and next to him is Mike Hammond. Congratulations to both Mikes. Thank you. And why don't you tell me a little bit about how you felt the game went today? Um, I thought that the wind uh, probably played havoc on both teams. Both teams are pretty skilled, and I think the wind uh, kind of took both teams out of the game. You know, Mike, one of the things I noticed also out there, and I'll talk, address this to Mike Hammond, the, the head coach, is that uh, the other t the coach was saying uh, pressure, pressure. You guys put a lot of pressure on the team. Is that something that's natural? Do you work on them with that? Uh, yeah, I think to be one of the top teams, you have to pressure the other team. If you don't put them under pressure, they can do whatever they want out there. So if you don't, pressure is one of the main parts of the game. So we did that well today. Well, congratulations. Both you're headed to, where is it, Wyoming next? Casper, Wyoming. And where are you going to be at, uh, at that time? Is it uh, coming up the next month or two? Or? Uh, in the middle of June. Well, congratulations both. Can you hold your, uh, your trophy up there, your plaque that is so nice? It says, Girls Under 14, National Cup Champions, 1996. Congratulations to both of you. Thank, Thank you very much. Well, you see the, the game's over. The interviews are in the can. And I am Dan Williams. Just giving you the final score, we've got the Claremont Stars 2 and the LV Blazers 1. That gives the Claremont Stars the opportunity to move on to the regional finers, uh, finals in Casper, Wyoming. We say good luck to them, and we'll see you again. On behalf of George Langevin Productions, I'm Dan Williams.